Hey everyone, welcome to EdTech Hustle. My name is Rich, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an awesome looking 3D rendered cartoon like this one in just a few minutes using a new tool called Microsoft Designer. There's no skills needed for this one. It's simple and really powerful. So the first thing you want to do is go to designer.microsoft.com. You can see that this is the page right over here. If you click up at the top, get started for free. You can create your own account in just seconds. So what I'm going to have you do now, if you'd like, is look in the description of this video. I'm going to paste a link that you can click on, and that link is going to set up this prompt. It's kind of like a Mad Libs activity where you can fill in all of these different fields to generate your own 3D render. Now, what you want to do is to add terms here that will match the description of the character that you want to render. Now you can make yourself like a lot of people have done or you can make another character which is what I'm going to do. So here is an image. This is just a, a stock photo of a woman that I found. I am going to use this prompt to make a 3D render of this model. So I'm just going to fill in all of these different fields. Okay, so my prompt is set. Now let me hit generate. In just a few moments, Designer is going to use Dolly 3 to generate this image. Okay, so here we go. You can see that it was able to generate a number of different options. Now, if I don't like any of these, I can just select generate and simply generate this prompt again. Okay, now I have a few other examples. Remember, this was my original photo. Let me just kind of take this and make it just a little smaller. And these are some of the images that I was able to render using Microsoft Designer. I think maybe this one would work okay. It's hard to get it exactly perfect, but I think you can find something that's a good enough representation. Now, if I still don't like these photos, I can try even more by clicking here and edit the actual text of the prompt. This could be be something that I could do to change this a little bit more and then that way I'm not necessarily tied to that template that I was using before. Now here's something else you could do if you want to share this with a friend. What you can do is just select this share button and we can follow this as a prompt and we can create our own template prompt. So this way if I found another person with a Microsoft designer account, I could send this to them and have them fill out that template in the same way that I did. So if I do continue, I'm just going to highlight the text that I want. So I'm just going to put on here gender and highlight that text and this time do add custom field and now it'll put brackets around it. When I share this with someone, they'll be able to fill that bracket in. And I'll do the same thing. I'm going to type color, highlight that, add my custom field, and just put hair. So now if I did a, a longer type thing, I can select next and copy link. So now when I share this with one of my friends, I can just have them click here. They can add the gender, they can do color. Of course, it would be a longer prompt if I did it. So this is one way that you can create a really awesome 3D render using Microsoft Designer. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you like this content, I would love it if you could subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.